Well, here we have the Bitfunk Sega Saturn PSU replacement board, a more modern and reliable power board. This was a need must for me personally, as I did originally have a slight overheating burn mark inside the shielding of my console, and I was also using an old timer of a step down converter that I had to use as this is a Jap console and I was using it in the UK. Different power supplies over here. Let's see what we get all together in the box. So it just gives you some instructions. There are different versions of models of Sega Saturns and they do require additional setups. So keep an eye on this manual and check which version of Saturn you got. Now this board does work for all models. So this one does come with its own power brick, which is pretty awesome with some universal adapters. So wherever you purchase this from, you're lucky because this will be compatible in the UK territory as well as EU and NTSC North America. And there they all are. They do just simply clip on on the top of the power unit. And we got some other additional cables here. You only need certain cables for the model that you're using. Let's see what else we got in the box. Eh, nothing. So now let's show you the main feature, which is the board itself. Let's just get this out of this protective wrapping. And as you can see, the quality is pretty nice. And if you have used a Dream PSU, you're basically getting the same type of quality. Very impressed with this type of build. And here you get the additional little clips that you have to feed that cable through at the back of the console. Now let's get this console out. Personally, one of my favorite consoles ever. I think it just looks pretty awesome. Now to get this open, it just needs a Phillips screwdriver, which is pretty simple and easy to obtain, and you just got five screws. So I'm just gonna speed this up here now for you guys. And that's it, let's lift open this lid. And here we have all the jimmins at the back. It does need another two screws to get that power supply out and then it is one screw holding the board down so you just want to yank this out straight up from the pins and they do have the power cable directly from the power switch that's connected straight to the board give that a yank and now let's install this new board there are four holes in the middle of the board you just want to line up and just push it through quite firmly and it just clips in pretty nice and now let's get that power cable straight into the board now let's head back to the manual to find out what we need to switch it to, to the version. Mine needs a 5 volt switch. It needs an extra bit of juice, so let's clip that up to 5 volts. Of course, you do need to check what version of console you need, if you need the 3 volt or 5 volt. Now this is probably the more complicated bit, just to get this back end really nice and tidy. I want to feed through that cable, and then you just twist that nut to get it nice and tight. And we got this all set up. Let's get the power cable in, nice and firm. And let's see now if this works. Bam, we have power. Brilliant, there we go. And let's just check out the disc speed. Yep, that's all working well. I think that's pretty awesome. The timing of my original PSU board just blown out couldn't get worse as I recently did a video on a lovely big bob purchase full of tasty Japanese exclusive games. I was very excited to jump into. If you want to check out that video, that is in the link below. Now there are a fair few tasty projects I like to carry on with this Sega console to upgrade it as it's very underrated classic console by Sega to bring a breath of life for 2022 and beyond. So keep an eye out for that. Purchase for the Saturn board you will find as well below. And as always, thanks for watching. And if you'd like to hit that button, if you want to support my channel, click subscribe, leave a comments below, and I catch you a lot on my next video.